Okay, so we're working in Premiere again, and we're going to be working with some longer clips like the one I have here that is like, we can see it's eight minutes and something seconds long, eight minutes long. And I'm not just going to take this whole thing any, or, you know, down onto my timeline. I'm going to break it up into smaller clips. And some of it I'm going to want the audio from, and some of it I'm not. Um, depending upon whether or not I have somebody talking or whether I just want to see stuff. So as you can see here, I've already set some in and out points. Um, we learned that in our last tutorial. You can either set them with this button here, set an in point. Notice it tells you t that you can use the keyboard key I or this point that is for out points or the keyboard key O. I like using I and O because it's nice and fast for me. Um, I also like these keyboard keys. Go to endpoint Q and notice I'm going to hit it here, Q. It jumps my little active uh, icon right to that endpoint. Um, and then the other one next to it, W. And these are placed on the keyboard opposite of I and O so that it's kind of like intuitive for your fingers or whatever. Jump to O is your out point so you can adjust those things. Like if your out point is a little bit off, you can jump to your out point, arrow key over a little bit, and then reset that out point with a O, right? This other little button here is really nice. You can play, or I like to call preview your in to out, like so. You just click that, it'll start at your end point, and show you all that you got out through your out point. And this is some kind of shaky steady cam footage here. Maybe that went a little bit too long. So I'm gonna cut out that last move with my arrow key and just hold down my left arrow to go back reset my out point with O, and then I think I've got a nice clip. So this particular clip, though, I'm going to use as B-roll. Just like all this stuff down here I've already placed down here, I want to use as B-roll. It's just going to be footage that I'm going to use over top of somebody talking. So I have not included, as you notice down here, any of the audio. How I did that, there's a couple different ways. There's the long way, which is to bring it down and then unlink and delete the audio. You can always do that at any point. But if you know from this point that you don't want to use, uh, whoops, go back over here. Uh, if you don't want to use this clip's audio, you can drag it down from here and it says drag video only. That's your little film kind of icon. I'm gonna put this stuff here. The other thing I want to do with all these clips that I want to use for B-roll is to put them up on video two. That's going to allow me to put my track of someone talking. Let's say I've got a little bit of an inter interview somewhere over here. Uh, this is, I think, people spelling their names and stuff. And I start asking her some questions here. So she's going to talk, and I'm just going to say at random in. Or for like street art shows. And then I'm going to go forward a little bit. She's talking and she's talking and she's telling me all sorts of great stuff. Set my out. This clip since she's talking I'm gonna have down here and let's say it's a little bit longer I can even drag out my clip from here this is haphazard and random really but so you can see the effect that it will have when I play through this clip of her talking and as my red line gets to my video two line b-roll clips we still hear her talking, and yet we have something different to look at, which activates and creates more interest and allows us to kind of um, see an illustration of what it is she's talking about without feeling like we have to be watching her talking the whole time. And I noticed I just got two bits of the same thing here. It looks like that clip started, and this clip was the same thing. I'm just going to take this one out here. Another fun thing you could do is you can, or I don't know if it's fun, but uh, it's, it's helpful. I've highlighted this small clip here. I'm gonna zoom in with my mountains, or I can also use the plus and minus key on my keyboard, is if I've got a clip in here I don't want, I can right click it and choose ripple delete. And what that'll do is not only will it delete it, but it'll bring this clip after it down the line. And that's really nice, because then you don't have to delete and then move this over. It's just one less step. So this is called a U-cut. Um, since I'm going from one thing, dipping out of it, not affecting the audio, it would look a lot like a U if I brought this down here and you could see the U in my timeline. U. Right, starting with the person talking, switching to B-roll, and then coming back out. But I don't ever want to cover stuff on my timeline because if I need to then move this, when you cover it uh, on the same video line and I go to move it out, 
see it deleted what was underneath of there. So I'm just going to control Z back a few steps and leave it up here. That way I can slide all this stuff by highlighting it and grabbing the group. Or I can use this tool here, the Track Select tool, and it'll take everything to the right of the clip that I click on in that particular video track and select it. So it won't affect anything to the left, but everything to the right of the clip I select. So let's say I just want these two. See how that works? We could do a W. But um, that's about it. That's, that's kind of all I'm going to give you for right now for working with A-roll and B-roll clips. A-roll being the person talking about what it is they're talking about and the B-roll showing the illustrations of what it is that they're saying to add extra interest um, and visual qualities. Thanks for watching.